Hi YouTubers, it's Dave here from Geeky Brick. So today I thought I would bring you my long awaited first thoughts stroke overview and review of this Lego storage system or storage system but predominantly obviously for myself being used as Lego and indeed I believe why this was predominantly manufactured really. I'm with people that make this, uh, Pappy Max. Obviously I've been in contact with them, they are fans of Lego and wanted to come up with what could well be the ultimate Lego storage solution. So I'll let you know whether I think it is the ultimate Lego storage solution at the end of this video but I just want to give you a bit of an overview really, take you around the storage solution itself um, and at the end of this video I have got an awesome promotional code um, for this which will give you 25% off. Um, which is fantastic. So thanks to the guys over at Pappy Max. Um, like I said, 25% off. I'll give you the details at the end of the video. I do have someone to help me, um, to give me their thoughts on this as well today. So don't be too scared, but I'm going to bring them into the shop now. Come on over. Who are you? Joker! Oh, it's the Joker! So indeed, we have got the Joker here in person from the Lego Batman movie, um, flown all the way here. Um, to help us with your thoughts as well. Yes, Joker? Yep. Yeah, okay, so let's uh, start to take a look at this, um, give you my thoughts of it and what I've been using it for and what my future plans are for the Pappy Max storage solution. Let's get to it now. Okay, so here we are. So you can see I have got the black version of this. There are, or well, there is at least one of a colour. Apologies, I can't remember um, if there are more than that. Um, so four separate storage. Obviously, we have a tray in each one of these, as you can see here, pulled out. So. Uh, push those back in now. You can see indeed they do slide out very nicely and back in nicely as well. Uh, when I've got this shot here, I've said they are four and they do come apart uh, quite easily. Um, they do have on top, um, hopefully, you can see this kind of pattern on here, which obviously helps them to interlock with each other, and they do that very well. Yeah, put that down there. Obviously, if I, this has got Lego in it, but there you go, if I pick that up holding the third one up, the bottom one there is still sticking to it. So they do mean to very well. Now the other fantastic thing these have, there are grooves here, which I'm not sure whether you will be able to see. If I try to zoom this in here, um, you should hopefully now be able to see there is a groove here and a groove here at the end. And on the other side, there are thinner grooves. Um, so that might be able to start to give away what they are for. And I'm going to show you something which I think is uh, pretty awesome. Um, so if I take the top one off, um, like so, and then all you do is you line these grooves up. So, small groove up with a large groove, and it just simply slots down, like so. So you can see there, it gets into next. But just to give you an idea of the strength, there's nothing underneath this. Let go, and it still, oh, it still sticks there, as you can see there. Um, obviously, it's not designed for that purpose, hence why obviously the weight will tip it over. But that's just to show you that it really does attach to it um, extremely well there. But normally, you'd have obviously another. Um, well, in this case, number two underneath. So, better example really is if I take two off um, and then I would interlock two together. Let me just quickly do that. Okay. And then very, very simple. So, they, as you can see there now, are both indeed interlocked with each other. So, you can kind of see there and you can carry that along there or carry it on a pipe wide. So, you know, for the purpose of a um, Stability and locking them together, you know, first off, big, big thumbs up, so really, really impressed with that. Just going to get this back into the other configuration and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are again, stacked into the four on top of each other configuration, which is what I'm using for the time being. Um, hopefully I'll get some more of these as well myself. Um, it's kind of giving it away, really, isn't it? I wouldn't be buying more myself if I didn't like them. But anyway, um, right, so I want to show you the drawer itself now. So. First off, let's take this drawer out. You can indeed see I am using this at the moment. You will see there is Lego in there. If I tip that over, I don't want it all to tip out. Um, you can see I'm using light bluish grey um, in this particular drawer. And put that back in. But the main thing I want to show you, so I'm going to show you the bottom drawer. The reason for that is because at the moment it is empty. There's nothing in there. Um, you can see here there are, should be able to know this, three, six, nine, so it's 15. So 15 separate compartments in there. Now one of the great things about this is it's configurable so these um, do actually come out. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of that now. See that? That comes out nice and easy and simple. You can see this because this is obviously 
um, translucent or transparent um, plastic, some sort of plastic. Um, but even in that configuration there, what you will now see, let's bring this closer into the camera, you will now see we have a small tray and a much larger tray there, down there. Um, but you can put it into different different types of configuration because, for example, if I take this one out as well, you've now got, obviously, lots of long trays that way. Um, but one of the ways I've set mine up, which I will try to show you in a minute, if I take that out, well, you could have it like that, for example, you could have this completely open, you've got a big one there. So, although what I have done is, once I've got it in that configuration, is put um, one of these longer ones back in. Uh, bear with me, because I'm trying to do this. Again, you can see that goes in nice, and easily so now what this gives me is bigger opening there a really big opening there uh, and then some smaller ones there there and finally at the back and then some slightly bigger ones along the length there um, but you can see they're very 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 configurable so let's just pull that back in like so success there we go slide that back in uh, these are the pieces obviously that have come out there, that's the long one, you can see there it's shaped because it's designed to fit in um, obviously over Dre Curve piece there, so you know exactly which way it goes up and they are some of the smaller pieces. Um, but anyway, so what I did want to show you is because like, I have compared to go, if I take that drawer out, uh, I'm going to try and do this without dropping everything, uh, you can see here the configuration I've got here, at the front I've got a much bigger drawer because um, I've got some light bluish grey uh, one by four bricks, you can see, and they've got quite a few of them in there. I've got some empty trays at the moment because I'm still filling this up. And then there's some of the smaller ones, so smaller ones I've got some of these um, kind of corner jagged pieces, like blue grey. Um, and then back here I've got some bigger pieces, which you can see there, and then ultimately all the way to the back. The point with this is to show you, you can really configure this um, for different sizes. So. Smaller pieces, obviously smaller compartments. If you want to make a bigger compartment for bigger pieces, then you can do that like I have to, um, there. Um, and I think I've done something similar, but again, different shape option down with the third tray here. Um, again, you can see there and there, bigger trays for those pieces. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea um, with regards to you know how these are really um, I'd say excellently configurable. Build quality, um, I have to say, you've been hitting it a little bit. <laughs> I'm doing that for a reason, it is solid. Very, very, very good build quality. I have to point out as well, there are windows in the sides, which is great, because you can see in, if you're looking from the sides, um, what pieces you've got in there. Uh, I think that's great for all of us um, Lego enthusiasts. So you can get in there and see straight away. Now these do come out, look, do come out, and we'll sit there quite nicely. So I take out that second drawer there, um, you can see that obviously there, obviously the more you stack on, the more you can fit in there, oh, so there we go, so there we go, that's kind of an overview really, and a bit of a review, overview as in I'll show you what it is, review as in kind of, kind of sum up with um, my thoughts now, um, so do I think this is the ultimate Lego um, storage solution, well, I think it's really, really, really close to being the ultimate one, um, obviously to be the ultimate has to be 100% perfect. Um, and it's not far off it, I have to say. You know, I'm really pleased with it. Um, thanks very much to Happy Max for sending these out to me. Um, you know, I will be looking to get more of these um, for myself. I've already got an idea of the configuration I want in my Lego room and how these can fit in to the Lego room. This is my personal collection, so I need a lot more of these. Let's put it that way, a lot more to be able to fit my own personal Lego collection in there. But, you know, I think they're great. The, the drawers are solid. They're configurable, you know, I'm, I have to say, big thumbs up from me, big, big, big thumbs up. But I think more importantly, the person that we really need to hear from is the one that's really going to know, the Joker. Where is he? Where's the Joker? Where are Oh, Joker! My God, where did you come from? Okay, so uh, come on into the camera then, Joker. So, Joker, what do you think? Well, I think he's the best one I've ever seen. Really? You hear that? The Joker thinks it's the best one he's ever seen. No? Well, you've probably seen more drawers than me. I've probably seen more than you, but that's, a, that's I mean, Joker, wow. For him to say it's the best he's ever seen, that's got to be a, yeah? Yeah, oh, massive thumbs up. Massive thumbs up, wow. Massive thumbs up from the Joker to 
these Pappy Max storage solutions for Lego. Um, anyway, the one thing I did mention at the beginning of this video is a promotional code. So down in the link in this description, there is a link to the Pappy Max website. Head over to there. Um, you can get to see these and see uh, the cost of these, etc. Of the different, you know, solutions. And there'll be a lot more detail if I'm bound to have missed some, probably no, make some really important, crucial stuff. Um, but anyway, the point of this, I think they're great. I really, really do. Head over there now. If you buy some of these and you get out to the checkout, etc., there'll be somewhere I'd imagine on there where you can put a promotional code in. So here it is. The promotional code is Geeky. G E E K Y. Simple as that. Geeky. And you will be, have applied to it 25% discount. You know, that is awesome. So thanks very much to Pappy Max. I don't know how long that's going to run for. So make the most of it now. If you want to try some of these out for yourself, Make the most of this promotional code. Put it in there, geeky, 25% off. Okay. Um, I recommend them. I really, really do. You should try them out. Um, take it from me. Yeah, you know, I think they're great. The fact that they are just so right interchangeable. Right. They, they, they stack together so well. Anyway, I've kind of given all our thoughts now and, and from the Joker. You know, to hear from the Joker how awesome they are. So, anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this overview, review, first thoughts, etc., from myself and, of course, the Joker. Um, if you have, like always, give this video a thumbs up, just let us know, comments, questions, feedback, let us know what you think about these, and if you're going to buy some, let me know, I'd be really interested to see. I do want to get hold of more of these because I want them to be used for my own personal storage solution for um, my LEGO collection, so hopefully you'll begin to see more of these coming through on LEGO haul videos as I expand um, my configuration in my LEGO room. Anyway, no swaffle from me. Um, and of course we have the Joker with us looking very intimidating um, but anyway that's it thumbs up subscribe to our channel let us know what you think of these and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video well the Joker saying in the next video so bye from me and bye from bye. Joker bye from the Joker thanks everyone check them out you will not be disappointed thanks everyone bye Ah!